This is Henry Campbell Bannerman, mm -hmm. Prime Minister of the UK, in 1907. Okay? Mm -hmm. And this is 41 years before Israel was created. Look at his comment. Mm -hmm. It says, There are people who control spacious territories, teeming with manifest and hidden resources. They dominate the intersections of world routes. Their lands were the cradles of human civilization and religions. These people have one faith, one language, one history and the same aspirations. No natural barriers can isolate these people from one another. If perchance this nation were to be unified into one state, it would then take the fate of the world into its hands and would separate Europe from the rest of the world. Taking these considerations seriously, a foreign body shall be planted in the heart of this nation to prevent the convergence of its wings in such a way that it could exhaust its powers in never-ending wars. It could also serve as a springboard for the West to gain its co-fated objects. So here's, so here's the mm. Western world planning ahead. In 1907, yes, we had a Khilafah state there, mm. but it was very weak, and a lot of the territories had become occupied by then. Mm -hmm. So in that capacity, he's saying, look, we cannot afford to have a Khilafah state mm -hmm. once again as a powerful, powerful state, as a powerful power that can challenge our interests in the Middle East. So that's um, why they created Saudi Arabia. This is why they give a country exactly. to the Saud, yes. the first yes. country in the, yes. in the world to be named after a family. Mm -hmm. How many other countries do we know mm -hmm. that are named Absolutely. after families? So these were given Jordanian, the yeah. Jordanian king, uh, the Sharifs, they were given this, uh, the power by the British. And 1947, this was a deliberate strategy to implant a state and give any excuse. The excuse was religion, but in fact it was Zionism which was, which was uh, really the agenda which was being pushed here. Ever since then, we can see and see the consequences that uh, the Muslims in this region have suffered. Whether it's the, the whole area of Palestine or the surrounding territories mm -hmm. under the brutal regimes of Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Qatar, uh, Jordan, Syria, like we're seeing right at this moment in time, where there's been dynasties of rules, mm -hmm. rule, and the British and the Americans have had no objections until these people struck their interests and therefore these people are now not flavor of the month. They need to be removed and they need to start negotiating now with newer people, newer groups of people, newer factions who can become the ruling elite in this country.